Number 15, hilarious video of Americans using a roundabout. Yes, Americans, as we all know, don't know how to use roundabouts because they don't know what they are. They don't even call them that. I mean, yeah, I don't, yeah. Tom Tom's <laughs> Tatnavs used to call them rotaries. <laughs> Which is a sounds, different thing. Sounds way more interesting than they actually are. Yeah. We laugh, but they use intersections better than us. You yes. know, they've got the free right turn, don't yeah. they? Right yeah. turn on red. Yeah. Right, right turn on red, which means yep. you don't need a roundabout. It kind of, yep. or it's already doing that. Well, this this four way crossroad in the states in East Kentucky, they decided did need a roundabout, and it was just the video that the construction company took it was an aerial video circling around the roundabout, and it was chaos. It I don't was. know how. I mean, they were going around the wrong way. They were meeting yeah. in the middle. They were. Yeah. So at what point does, it, does an American decide that they're going to drive? All of a sudden, there's a roundabout, so I'm going to go on the other side of the road. Like yeah. it's very confusing. Well, exactly, the divider in between the lanes, yeah. each side of the roundabout, and people are going up the wrong side to go. Around and proof the wrong that way. humans have devolved from ants. <laughs> 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 Number fourteen on the list, well wrapped up, towing and the taboo of using an EV. We sure um, do talk about the BYD 803 a lot. Um, this is another one based around the 803 because BYD in New Zealand actually developed a tow package for the 803, which mm -hmm. you can't get from China, not because the car can't tow, but just because it's not a thing in China. Mm. So, And that's that's really the case for a lot of EVs. The companies that make them, just it's not a priority. It doesn't mm. mean the cars can't tow. So it was a story about just getting that certified and up and running. And just um, a little bit of mention about you know the, the capabilities of EVs to tow. And lots of new EVs actually do have tow ratings now. So it's an interesting topic. Topic. Um, and it's one of the things that people just you hear all the time. It's like, oh, I can't buy an EV. I want. I need to tow things. Well, EVs can tow things. Out of curiosity, how how much weight can an Ado three tow? That's a really good question. And I've I don't done know. it again. Yeah. Sorry. So I'm, 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 I'll, I'll research that See later. See the story. <laughs> yeah, I'll go, I'll Read the story it. now. Driven.co.nz. <laughs> number fourteen on the list. Uh, number thirteen. New Zealand's cheapest new car axed new car announced. Yeah, so this is a story we did back in July, just for context, because that was sort of on the back of the clean car discount as well. Um, the Suzuki Baleno, once you put the clean car discount into the price, was the cheapest new car you could buy in New Zealand, and Suzuki dropped that for a bunch of reasons which we won't go into, um, probably not by choice. And so the new cheapest car, once you take the retail price, then you take the clean car discount off, was the da -da 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 Mitsubishi Mirage. So right. a bit of an old an old favourite. Yeah, right. And it's, it was a really it was a really cheap car. It was like seventeen thousand something dollars once yep. you take the two two grand clean car discount off. We even uh, ran a poll as well. Yes. Um, <laughs> on that, so we don't remember the results, but we'll flash them up on right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Number twelve on the list: all new registered uh, registration vi registered vehicles. So it's you a brief. It's abbreviated. I'll start again. All new registered vehicles uh, to have a CO2 account. So this is a story actually from last month, from November, uh, and it was just about the government um, announcing and introducing the clean car standard for the car industry. So we have the clean car discount, which is for us car buyers. You either you know get a rebate or pay a fine. Clean car standard kicks off next year, and that keeps tabs on what car importers are bringing into the country, and they have to register the CO2 emissions of all of the cars they're importing, and it's all done on averages, and they pay fines or or get credits depending on how well they're doing against the government's CO2 target. So it was just a story about um, basically the admin was open and all car importers had to sign on and get a CO2 account. It's like being a member of Netflix, I suppose. If you want to watch Netflix, you have to have an account. Same, if you want to import cars, you have to have an account. Clearly the rules were too easily understood, so they needed to complicate it <laughs> a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, it feels like that, doesn't it? Yeah. And can you believe it? Number 11 and the last story that we're talking about on this episode is the Hamilton Bypass. Hooray! Hey! Opens! <laughs> Full drive through July 15th. <laughs> wow, finally. Um, have we talked about the Hamilton Expressway yet? <laughs> yeah. I'd like to talk about some more. Third time. Uh, yeah, so the number 11 story is certainly close to my heart, petrol, mm. uh, and, and backside because it, it makes, makes bypassing Hamilton so much faster and easier. 110 kilometer zone. I'll read a, at a little excerpt from the story. After decades of planning and six years of construction, the 22 kilometer Hamilton by far, bypass officially opened to traffic last night at 10 p.m. Thursday, July 14, almost six months ago already, mm. to form a vital link of the Waikato Expressway. And it is superb, uh, arguably the country's greatest road Still, so thankfully they haven't dug anything up yet, so we've, we've managed to get six months without any road repairs. Although, the uh, Centre Armco has been taken out a few times by pretty wayward drivers. Let's try and tell that to people on the highway heading north at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So yeah, um, offering, um, so it's, it's actually quite scenic for what it is. Uh, a little bit of farmland and it's smooth and flowing and scenic. 
I mean, you can easily do 130 to 150 k's an hour, as proven by the people that zoom past me yeah, right. as I'm sitting on 110. It's just in, insane. So, um, what does it save you? How many minutes? Uh, it probably seven, dropped about from my drive to Hamilton to work to Auckland. Probably dropped well in combination with 110 k speed limit to Hampton Downs. Probably dropped good solid 10 minutes, 10 yeah, to 15 right. of my drive. So. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm very grateful for the Hamilton Expressway opening. And so is everyone else, according to what people have been clicking <laughs> yeah. on.